Alright guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Bharat. I'm a senior database engineer and I've been learning a lot about DevOps and Kubernetes and whatnot. I'm trying to share that with a lot of people, as many people as possible. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Kubernetes daemon sets. And it's actually a very important resource. It's a very important concept. So let's actually jump into the lesson. So in the past, what we used to do when we want to monitor or do some kind of like log collection on all of your application missions is basically like we create like a we create a cron job or we actually create custom shell scripts and put it in the init.d directory uh, you know the hc init.d directory and these shell scripts will be started when the nodes start up actually when the node boots up these shell scripts will be uh, will be kicked off automatically and these the, the cron job or the shell script will basically do the thing for you like it will do the monitoring or log collection right so that's how it used to happen in the in the past days and now uh, kubernetes is the new you know it's a new thing right so you know basically we are deploying applications as pods in your kubernetes cluster so but when you create uh, a daemon set like basically a daemon set is a resource like deployment except that when you actually define a pod under a daemon set resource your pod will be created on each and every node of your cluster so let's say like you're deploying a fluent d uh, you know fluent d image uh, under daemon set so then your fluent d will uh, pod will be created on all of your nodes actually then the fluentd software is basically a software that does log collection uh, it you know it will happen on all of your nodes right so let's say for some reason actually you remove one node from your cluster then obviously like your application pods will die and at the same time your daemon set pod will also be deleted right it will be you know some kind of like garbage collection will happen you know when this node is removed actually right and what happens actually when you add this node back to your um, you know cluster again like your applications might scale up and you know your application pods will be running on this node that might happen if you configured it that way but definitely your uh, daemon set pod will be created that will happen for sure that's the characteristic of daemon set actually so i want to show that uh, you know in my demo uh, quickly so i have like a, you know a small cluster a kubernetes cluster let me show you uh, what's in my cluster so i have a master node and two worker nodes right so what I'm going to do is basically like uh, I'm going to uh, borrow this YAML file from Kubernetes documentation over here and that's basically like uh, creating a daemon set resource and it's creating a daemon set called fluentd elastic search uh, and it's based on this image and uh, let's see what happens actually when you create this daemon set so let me show you like the pre snapshot of all the pods running in my cluster uh, like basically in all of the namespaces so you will see that you know in the default namespace there's a deployment you know we don't really need to worry about that so there's a bunch of uh, pods running in the coop system namespace right so so the the flu the fluent d yaml file that i just showed you so uh, that's actually copied into this directory over here so you can see and uh, let me actually like go ahead and create this this uh, daemon set so in fact actually i've already created this uh, fluent d elastic search daemon set and what is interesting is if I showed you the wide output of these pods uh, you would see that uh, you know the, the daemon set pods are running on all of the nodes actually like it, there's one running on master one running on node one and one running on node two so your you know daemon set managed pods are running across uh, you know across your cluster 
basically so now let's say like you want to remove your node you know from your cluster like you know basically I'm going to remove this node 2 from my cluster so I'm going to be just running a few commands uh, basically draining the the pods on node 2 ignoring the daemon set pods I'm going to be deleting the node 2 and I'm going to be using kube adm to reset the the cluster configuration because that's what I used to install uh, in the first place so let's see the output of these commands it's pretty uh, straightforward and once this reset command finishes you will uh, see that the node 2 will actually go missing from this list of nodes right node 2 is gone um, and you will also realize that basically there will be nothing running on node 2 if it is it will just take a little bit of time and then it will go away so let's just wait for a little bit all right there you go so all the pods on node 2 basically crashed and they are cleaned up actually right so now node 2 is totally out of this kubernetes cluster now i want to add this node back to the uh, the kubernetes cluster so let's see how we can do that so i'm going to actually use this token create command and i'm going to run this on my master which should give me the join command and I'm going to copy this join command and go to my node 2 and then I'm just going to add the node name to this command and I'm going to I'm going to run this command let's see actually so it's running and it should be pretty quick and if I run kubectl get nodes on my master again the node 2 is back in action actually right so and that's not it so you know before when we uh, you know when we ran this command to see the pods running on node 2 there was nothing right so let's actually like do the same thing again and you'll see that all these pods which are daemon set managed pods uh, this one is what I created in this demo and this coop proxy and calico uh, calico daemon set were created before when I configured those things uh, you know during installation so but but the point is actually these daemon set pods are created on node 2 and they are ready to actually do the task uh, you know that that is meant to be done by this software this fluent D software actually so this 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 pod is now sitting there uh, waiting for applications to be deployed on that node and it can do log collection and monitoring and whatnot actually so this is how powerful daemon set is actually so I hope that was clear if you have questions please uh, just put the question in the comments and uh, yeah so I've created a bunch of other videos and I've created a playlist a kubernetes for bigness playlist and there's like about 30 videos do take a look and uh, just uh, click one of these videos and I'll see you on the other side. Thank you.